aiming products is a function of lining up your benefits and your features. It's kind of like the way you come down on headlines and stuff. You have to decide what's going to work in your thing. You know, I, I brought up, you know, kiss my face and gee, your hair smells terrific and things like that. And also making book titles more like headlines rather than being cute. The worst thing you can do is the equivalent of the, uh, typically it's the nail salon or the hair salon that comes up with a cute phrase about cutting hair that has nothing to do with actually being a hair salon. So it's like... Uh, uh, no, I wouldn't, would, you know, uh, supercuts is a good example of how to do it right. The wrong way would be um, uh, the little pony, you know, uh, uh, the little pony scissors or what? Well, actually, salon would help, but yeah, the, you know, being, you can be too clever. So you, you want to stay away from clever, you want to get the informative, you, and, and if you have something specific to say, you want that as part of it. Or, you have the name of the thing. What was it we were talking about? It was Dr. Uh, Dr. Frank's uh, uh, Juicy Herbs or whatever. You know, it's like you've got to be where you, you, you have to eliminate all the wrong kind of titles, the kind of things that bring up extra baggage or the kind of things that are inappropriate for the market. So you wouldn't have Happy Time ADD Center, you know, or something like that. So, um, what? So, um, so, so you, you have to work within that. The, the, if the title is not that important, then you you got a lot of leeway to do things. But then you can always explain things underneath. So there's the there's the kind of title with the explanatory uh, subhead or or part of the title. But you so you use the title as a shorthand. For example, for you to try to name thing, you need some kind of shorthand thing like ADD Central. And then underneath, the one-stop resource for parents with children with ADD and educators who need to deal with blah, 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 whatever, something like that. So that would be for that. For a book, I highly recommend using either the how-to or any of the other advertising ways of delivering benefit in the, in the title. So don't get confused of the idea of the, you know, the... Um, you know, trying, trying to be clever, trying to make a pun. Puns are horrible. Pun, pun is what I was looking for. A lot of, a lot of hair salons have puns, you know. Uh, so curl up and die. You, that, that was the one I was thinking of, curl up and die. Or, or actually I saw one that was uh, H-A-R, hair today, gone tomorrow. It was a hair salon. It was, yeah, that, you're making me remember some of these. Oh, yeah, and they go out of business soon. You're not trying to fool people. You're trying to deliver as much information in a compact phrase or whatever as you can. Now, Short titles or things like uh, uh, ADD Central would be like a URL, for example. So you can see having www.webadd or not webadd uh, uh, addcentral.com, and then then let it be known either in the AdWords where you're explaining to it, or on your site, you know, the site where you know for parents with children with ADD or educators dealing with you know hyperactive kids or whatever, something like that. So you get a lot of leeway under that. So you often you need a shorthand way to refer. To whatever it is you have, and that would so you may say Tide detergent is a shorthand way to just you know it's very it's to the point. They could have just said detergent, you know, but no, they wanted to name it to separate it from Ajax and all the other stuff. But then, what did they do after Tide detergent? You know, new and improved. Uh, you know, he. You know, super concentrated. Uh, you know, takes out. You know, use less, get more, all that kind of stuff. Right, David? You got something to say on naming products? No, I think, um, you know, it, it, it's like headlines in a way. I mean, what you said is a good way of thinking about it, but I think the actual doing it is just to come up with a list of 100 names. Just keep, you know, just keep going and eventually, you know, the right one will come. And run them by people and have your own little... Fo focus groups generally don't work because they try to get too much information out of it. But little focus groups can work just how you know how, how does how does this hit you how's this so you get somebody else to do feeding so.